Um, hello, thank you for your understanding and patience. So we are on time for the second presentation of this session. Um, I'm going to leave the stage, leave the screen to Mary Anna Balvola, um, based in Tananarive, Madagascar, and Balvola works at the National Geographic and Hydrographic Institute as an information system officer. Uh, she's passionate about learning a variety of geospatial techniques and technologies. Uh, also, she has been a promoter of open source and open data. And uh, the title of the talk, title of the presentation will be the case study of data storage for, for preservation of our archiving system at the National Geographic and Hydro, Hydro, Hydrographic Institute of Madagascar. I'm sorry for my uh, stutter. So, um, Mariana, welcome. Okay, thank you everyone for uh, giving me the opportunity to share with you my presentation today relative to the to the uh, use case of the The case study of the uh, data storage for preserving our Kevin system at the National Geographic and the uh, Hydrographic Institute of Madagascar. So, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Abaufula Mariana. I work at the National Geographic and the Geographic Institute of Madagascar since uh, 2014. So my story about Phosphor-G is uh, uh, become uh, since uh, 2017 when I was uh, in Belgium for uh, training in uh, GIS, free GIS. So I attended the Phosphor-G Belgium and uh, I, uh, I participated with the Poster. And after that, uh, I become really interested about the uh, the promote the phos, uh, phos 4G. So I was a speaker during the uh, this uh, UG event in uh, 2018 in Tanzania, and uh, I became a charter member also since uh, since Tanzania, and uh, uh, finally this year. Uh, I have chosen to be a reviewer and a session leader during this uh, online edition. So uh, I'm very happy to be part of this uh, community. So the outline of my presentation is uh, about the context and the state of the art. After that, uh, why we are we are uh, we have chosen phosphorgy for uh, archiving our system, and uh, what uh, type of uh, technical methodology uh, have we used uh, with uh, tools, and uh, I will uh, share the lesson learned during that uh, journey. Uh, even now, till now, we are working uh, within it. And uh, finally, I will present uh, the perspectives. So, uh, the, my institution is uh, the National Authority on uh, Geographic Information, which will uh, uh, contribute for a sustainable development. That is our vision. And our main mission is to provide uh, reference and authoritative geospatial data, and uh, there is the basic topographic maps for all users, especially in public for decision making here in my country. So uh, there is a presence of multiple non-interoperable data relative to location, obviously with different format, so we have lots of data within uh, CD, DVD, and uh, uh, external drive in paper as well. And, 
And uh, another uh, problematic is that uh, uh, where uh, we can find the relevant information uh, which is stored and uh, who to consult, that are all the issues that we face actually. So as you can see from um, from my uh, from the slide, uh, there is a lot of uh, CD and uh, a packet of uh, uh, physical support. <coughs> And then we, according to the start of the act, we we hold uh, a lot of uh, database separately uh, from uh, each uh, service within my institution. There is a detector database uh, with various uh, scales, uh, topographic database geodesic database and rasters with uh, georeferenced uh, scan and uh, raw data. We also handle the old photos and uh, others. As you can see that uh, we, we are a big island with uh, 592,000 square kilometers. Uh, that is a big uh, uh, data that we have to uh, uh, manage. So uh, while preserving our national heritage data, uh, we, uh, we can say that uh, our data is a national heritage because uh, we, we are the only one to, to store all of the reference uh, 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 there is a map here in Madagascar. So with uh, all the physical support and uh, there is no central storage. Again, everyone has its own storage within my institution. That is why we need uh, to preserve uh, uh, all of our data. So why uh, phosphology? We have known uh, scarcity of the resources in general. We all know that uh, license, license is very expensive. And uh, thanks to the open source to give us uh, opportunity to, to um, support our uh, system. That's why we choose uh, Phosphor-G. And uh, it, is, uh, it is not... Uh, uh, Definitely, but we we work in uh, uh, we fit progressively. So this is the technical methodology that uh, we we follow during uh, this uh, archiving system. First of all, there is a data prepared maze with technical description, uh, meaning that uh, we have uh, to adopt a standard related to all of our data, uh, existing data. Also, uh, there is data collection from each uh, service because we have uh, many services uh, in the institution, such as the photogrammetry, cartography, uh, database services, uh, hydrography, and uh, so on. After that, there is a technical installation and a configuration uh, following, followed by the database creation. And uh, finally, there is a data integration and a database update. So the tools that we are using actually is a QGIS with some plugins. Uh, in here, I uh, I thank the contributor for uh, the useful uh, plugin such as the PG metadata because it is very helpful to to insert and to edit all of our uh, metadata. And uh, for the uh, database. We use the PostgreSQL with the uh, special expansion PostGIS, and with PGAdmin, the uh, 
interface user. There is also the uh, SHP to PGSQL queue for um, uh, interface as well to import and uh, uh, export uh, the shape file to the uh, database. So, um, as we can see that it is a basic tools uh, relative to the uh, phosphor that I can say that uh, um, I am a promoter of uh, the phosphor G and uh, I uh, can say that uh, every public administration, especially in uh, developing countries such as Madagascar, uh, can uh, use and uh, adopt this, uh, this method to, to store and to, to archive their system. And uh, there is a uh, much uh, or a little bit of lesson learned from from this uh, journey that I can uh, share. I want to share with you. First of all, about the data, there is a semantic issue that we need to improve. For example, you can see from uh, the uh, screen that uh, there is a semantic uh, issue, for example, the name of Patrick Lutz, and there is also some issue relative to the value of that attribute that we have to uh, improve. Also, there is a topology error from uh, our database. Uh, for example, this uh, uh, Shape with the line with the multiple line. If there is an issue relative to a snapping, so we must uh, define the, the, the snapping distance because the, the two line should uh, uh, this little uh, uh, right one should not be here because it is just. Uh, one dot. Another lesson learned uh, from that also is uh, that, that uh, I can say uh, that we have gained uh, more space from the uh, check file to rows because uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, uh, in the fact that uh, making uh, our data in shape file uh, increase uh, the space. In addition to that, we have to check also the understanding between technicians because sometimes uh, the level of understanding relative to storing data is are not the same. So we have to uh, communicate with each other uh, well, we have to uh, store with uh, cent to centralize the, the uh, all of our uh, data and the final data. Also, you can begin uh, from a local environment because uh, it doesn't really need uh, a big. Uh, uh, for example, a satellite uh, server or something like that, but uh, you can make it locally. So just uh, begin with uh, the tools that uh, I will say uh, later. So to conclude, uh, and uh, the perspective is uh, after uh, archiving this, uh, all of our data, we can uh, think about the value add to this uh, system because we can create another service uh, to, to make it uh, another value. Also, we have to improve uh, our data and to create uh, an automation work, for example, to, to the fact that uh, uh, 
populating the database, for example, to not make it uh, manually. And the last but not least, uh, we have to improve our internal communication. So uh, that's end up to the, my presentation. So I uh, I call for everyone, especially us in developing developing country, to use this uh, uh, open source because it is very uh, beneficial for uh, our uh, country and uh, especially for our uh, uh, institution respectively. So thank you very much for your attention. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Marianne, for uh, the presentation and presenting the work, uh, the, the, the very meaningful and important work that you are uh, running and, and, and having uh, in Madagascar. So we have a question from the uh, venue list. Uh, there are three questions in one uh, sentence, in fact. Uh, so have the migration efforts finished? Uh, first part of the question. Sorry, can you... I cannot Sorry. hear you. Uh, okay, um, have the migration effort finished? I mean, have you, have, were you able to finish all the work or uh, what stage are you in? Can you hear me when? Uh, can you hear me when I uh, stop my video? Uh, Marianne, can you hear me? Yes, please. Yes, uh, okay. I can hear you. Okay, so the question was, uh, have the effort, have the work finished? Or if it is not finished, what stage are you in uh, in the in this in this work? It is not yet uh, finished. Because, because uh, as I can say that uh, we have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, data. Mm -hmm. So uh, it is uh, still uh, we are still uh, uh, populating our database, and as I can say that uh, that convincing uh, some colleagues relative to the fact that uh, to store the data that is a uh, Another real uh, issues as well, as you know that uh, uh, it's not easy to to use uh, the open source open source uh, directly in my country. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, do you have uh, estimation of? Do you have an estimate of? of when this work will be completed? What, what time are you expecting to be completed? Um, I think uh, it is a daily, daily work as uh, even now we, we are uh, updating our uh, database. So, Maybe I don't know when will it uh, end because <laughs> it depends on the the way we update our database. So after finishing it, we have to upload it on our to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for the <clears throat> the old uh, old uh, data, the old photo, the old map. 
we can finish it uh, even this year. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, I. It is. It is. It is very relevant, and it is very um, hard sometimes to convince, especially government officials in uh, open source and open source tools, and and, and, and somehow uh, they they see they, they see those tools as unreliable. But um, yeah, I mean, you have demonstrated very well the importance and the ease of application of these tools in, in the process. So. Uh, thank you, thank you very much for, for for presenting your work, and thank you very much for presenting your progress. Um, thank hoping, you very hoping, much. Thank you. Hoping, hoping that you will have you will have successful results to present next year. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye. Um, okay, so uh, if you have any follow-up questions uh, to Marianne, you can find her uh, through Venulus and get in touch and have a chat uh, as well as the other speakers that we will have. So we are going to have again a 10-minute break um, to prepare for the for the next presentation. So um, please, please, please stand by. Uh, we are going to have uh, interesting presentations coming.